Hello everybody, it's me, Young Cornbread, here with your Channel 5 Attorney and Weather Station Pardon. News. This is kind of a, you know, 3.5, if you will, in the uh, economic series, because it's not so much teaching you a whole bunch about, you know, uh, how to properly run your economy, but it is telling you that there is an important step you need to take when launching more serious economic activity, and that is establishing yourself uh, as a as a legal entity within the United States Quick, honk at them. in some form or fashion. Um, we are probably going to file for a business license uh, through the United States, um, either as a um, sole proprietorship or as a limited liability company. Um, it means that we are going to have a lot of our um, resources and tax information and everything uh, that comes from uh, attorney and profits, such as through our imperial markets, such as um, any any business that we are conducting in the United States uh, that will be handled through a company that we create uh, which will handle the affairs of that and we are trying to help you guys to continue in that process um, you know the prestige system is something that we're designing so that individuals outside of attorney entirely can still interact within our system and can still uh, properly uh, navigate uh, increasing their ability to, to gain income but you have to be able to do that properly. you have to be able to handle uh, the taxes and the necessary legal paperwork uh, to get that started so that's a big thing for us that we're having to go through currently and that's something that all of you who are interested in investing in, in investing in the prestige system I recommend you do as well that's the first step to becoming a big boy economy that's the first step to becoming a big girl economy it's, it's the first step to taking yourself seriously as a micronational entity and as uh, trying to declare yourself more economically stable and independent um, now, of course, as micronations, that's a weird thing for us because it feels like, oh, well, you're paying taxes to another nation. You're not truly independent. Uh, places like Malasia have said, um, oh, th well, that's something that uh, that uh, is like foreign aid that uh, we're distributing to the United States. Uh, but my approach is one that's more pragmatic. Uh, no, you are paying taxes. Uh, that doesn't make you any less of a nation. Uh, it means you are still requiring the services and the uh, use of the United States economic system. You are working within the United States. You're working with U.S. businesses in order to profit. And because of that, as you are going along the path to gaining more and more independence, you still have to have some way to... Uh, to properly interact. So as long as you are within the boundaries of the United States, both physically and legally, you need to be paying their taxes because they are the society just like you want to have. They have uh, needs that are required by their citizens to be met. And so you have to, uh, if you're going to use those, uh, pay into that system. Um, also, so the United States also just pays stuff to China and Europe anyway. So all other bigger, macro nations are still paying to each other as well so if the micro nations get into doing that then you grow yourself bigger too and then you can become one of those macro nations as well absolutely um when when uh you know like the united states embassy uh purchases property in china they may still have to pay chinese property tax and it's like oh well then it's not their land yes it is Yes, it is. it's still considered a part of the United States, United States territory in China, because those diplomats in that uh, U.S. embassy still have the same rights and the same abilities as U.S. citizens on U.S. soil. But you still have to properly use another country's system because you are taking their resources. That's something important to think about. So this is 3.5 in the Micronational Economic Series, dealing with taxes and international tax law and understanding how you need to navigate that. I'm not a tax expert, I'm not a lawyer, so don't uh, take, I, I'm trying to be very general here. Um, your own local, state, and federal governments uh, will have, and this doesn't just apply to the US, this applies to any country you're in, um, will have their own needs for you to meet uh, as a taxable entity. Uh, but you do need to meet those in order to be able to profit legally and to be able to grow your nation in the right way. 
there's nothing that will stop a nation's growth faster than being shut down and going to jail for tax evasion.